The old hymn that so many love declares, What a wonderful change has been wrought in my life since Jesus came into my heart. I hope that song gets stuck in your brain all day. It's a good song. Here's the change that I want to highlight this morning that Jesus has wrought in our hearts. In Isaiah 64, 6, we are told that all of our righteousness is as filthy rags in his sight. This is before Christ, when we rely on our righteous deeds to impress God, to win favor with God, to earn merit in his sight, to earn our salvation. That kind of thinking makes our, even our best efforts, stink in his sight. However, let's go to Revelation 19 and look at a different uh, vignette that, that John has for us, a different diorama. This is chapter 19, verse 6. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, crying out, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It was granted to her to clothe herself with fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. Hmm. The righteous deeds of the saints now are fine linen, bright and white. They become the marriage, uh, the wedding dress for the, lamp, for, the, uh, for the bride. The bride is the church. And the church is composed of believers like you and me. We are part of that great multitude who are roaring like many waters, like the sound of many peals of thunder, praising and giving our hallelujahs to God because of our marriage to the Lamb, who is Christ. Has Christ married his church, his bride, because of our beautiful wedding dress? Has he married us because of our righteous deeds? Have we earned his favor? No, no, no. The wedding dress, the righteous deeds, are worn after the event of his love for us. He marries us not because of the dress that we wear. You didn't marry your bride because she wore a beautiful wedding dress. You married her because you love her. Jesus Christ has married his church, his people, because he loves them. The wedding dress is not the bride's identity. It is her adornment. She wears the, the dress, bright and pure, as a praise to her husband, as an item that brings pleasure to him. And so our righteous deeds become beautiful, bright and pure, because we're not offering them as a way of earning favor or earning love that we already have, but as a way of praising him for what he has done for us. Hallelujah. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. And let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and the bride has made herself ready. That's you, and that's me. Let's spend the rest of our lives praising God, not just with our voices, but with our righteous deeds to give him pleasure and glory and honor.